When you change a dimension value in ByteCAD, that value will never change again until you choose to change it. The one caveat to that statement is where you have input fields connected with combo boxes or drop-down menus. For example, in the primary dimensions dialog box, we have an input field for front center distance. We can use that to change the distance from the center of the bottom bracket to the center of the front axle. As long as the front center input field is available, we can also control the length of the head tube. With the front center menu chosen, there's nothing that will cause the front center distance or the head tube length to deviate from these specified values. Changing the head angle will change the top tube length, but the front center distance and the head tube length will remain as defined. The important point to understand is that if we switch this menu to the effective top tube length option, we have now given up control of the front center distance and the head tube length. Instead, we can now control the front end of the bike by effective top tube length and top tube angle. We can see how these two values will remain fixed as the head angle is changed. With either of these options selected, we can see that changing the stem length or stem angle will shift the handlebars without impacting the geometry of the frame. Meanwhile, if we select the handlebar from BB option, You'll notice we have the ability to locate the handlebars through X and Y coordinates with respect to the bottom bracket. This is a typical form of output from a fit bike such as the Serata Size Cycle or Guru DFU. Once we've specified X and Y values for the handlebars, we'll notice that as we change the head angle, the handlebars will remain fixed in position. Similarly, if we change the stem length, the frame will change to preserve the specified handlebar X and Y coordinates. New in BikeCAD version 10.5 is the option to specify stack and reach values for the frame. Stack and reach are defined as the X and Y coordinates of the top edge of the head tube measured from the bottom bracket. As with the other input options just discussed, choosing the stack and reach option will allow for direct control over stack and reach. Other dimensions such as front center, head tube length, effective top tube length, top tube angle, and handlebar position will be determined as a function of these values, along with other variables such as fork length and rake, headset, and stem specs, etc.